Hello everyone and welcome back to Nerds Fail Me. My name is Chris Kenner and today unfortunately I am sick so I have had to do a very short recording because it's about all my voice can manage. Um, I'm exploring the idea of role-playing playthroughs. Someone suggested the idea for Skyrim but we were unable to get a setup that worked for us and we're, we're looking to do that on something else. But I am interested in demonstrating this game to you, No Man's Sky which has received some recent updates after it launched. When it launched, it was far short of what was promised, but now I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So give it a chance, and if you can give me some advice on how I can do a better job of the role-playing, I'd be very grateful. So I hope you enjoy. Jeez, where am I? It's cold. God, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. Oh, where's something that I need? Form a scan. Okay. Well, I can see what I need. I don't need you, scanner. I don't remember anything. Well, this should help me to warm up a little bit. Oh, a very little bit. Okay, so I need to repair my scanner. Where's something that's gonna have ferrite dust in? Hmm. Weirdly, for a frozen place, there's not a whole lot of iron about. Let's just get some of this to help me last. Okay. Let's recharge that the rest of the way, and we're good. So, rocks. I need rocks. There are rocks. And now, I have some ferrite dust. God, the suit helps, but the cold. Jeez. How did I even get here? Alright, let's see if we can fix this. There. Excellent. And there we go. Is there any more? There. Ah! Distress signal? Well, let me just grab some supplies and we'll go check it out. Where are we? There. That direction. Oh, the cold makes it so hard to move. Everything's so blue. What planet is this? I can see a ship. My god, I can see a ship! Ah! More of those flytrap looking things. Hey! Hey, is there anyone here? Jeez. This, uh, 
This doesn't look like a safe place. Stress beacon, here we go. Iteration number deleted. Boundary separation failure, likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention slash deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared? What does this mean? Well, there's a broadcast button. Let's give that a go. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Does that mean me? Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. I don't like the sound of that. Let's take a look at this ship. It might be in bad shape, but it might still fly. Auto diagnostics. Excellent. Online. Fantastic. Atlas connection. Intermittent. What is Atlas? Launch thrusters. Offline. Damn. Okay. Pulse engine. Offline. That's bad news. I found myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of it before. But this ship at least seems to recognise me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Uh, unavailable log. Not good news. Exosuit. Connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. There's only one thing to repair. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. So is it just going to fix itself? No. No, I need to get some supplies together. How I'm going to manage that, I don't know. Oh, yes, I just happen to have a metal plating on me. Although, it seems that at least I have some sort of heads-up display to help keep me alive. Oh. Let's see. Who left these containers here? Oh, this one's a bit, uh, rusted shut. What do I get? Oxygen. Excellent. Now at least I know I won't suffocate for a little bit. Damage machinery. Can I fix this? I need pure ferrite. No, no chance of that. These glowing plants. Yes, oxygen. That should keep me going for a while. Ah. I don't know how I got here but it's going to take everything I have to survive.